supporting outstanding agricultural women scientists to be effective leaders and drivers of agricultural research agendas is critical for inclusive transformation of the agricultural sector in Africa. Only 24% of agricultural researchers in Sub-Saharan Africa are women, and only 7% are in leadership. Scientific research is done by both men and women, and yet on this continent we're in a situation where we fail to leverage the full talents of our female scientists. And so that is why AWARD is working to increase the numbers of women in agricultural research leadership for the continent. We need to make sure that our best and brightest brains are at the table, setting their agenda and leading the research that's going to help us feed ourselves in the face of the constraints that we're facing as a continent. Through its fellowship initiative, AWARD has supported 1,206 individuals from 36 countries globally over the last years. Award is accelerating the careers of African women scientists by offering intensive customized learning experiences to build their leadership skills. I was a, a scientist, I had even a PhD, but I could not be able to lead. I was not a leader, I was not confident. Just before I applied for the fellowship, I think a year before, I was offered a, a job, uh, an administrative job, and I, I, I turned it down. Because I didn't have that courage, I didn't have, I thought I was not qualified. So this program, because of uh, leadership skills, communication skills, and giving me that, believing in myself that I can do it, it has made me what I am up to where I am now, because I think if I had not gone through it, I would be very reluctant to take up some of these positions. Building the capacities of women scientists has a transformative effect not just on individuals, but also on the institutions and countries. I got my placement at uh, Stellenbosch University. So when I was leaving Stellenbosch, my supervisor told me that there's little money left from the award fellowship. What can we do with it? And so she got in touch with award and award gave him a go ahead to use the money on me. So he bought for me my first equipment for testing uh, aflatoxin and I was determined to start a laboratory also at the University of Nairobi that can do what Stellenbosch is doing. So all this lab has actually come up because of award. Award fellows gain access to cutting-edge technologies, establish critical partnerships, learn new skills, and enhance their ability to solve pressing needs of farmers in their home countries. There was a call from our for a fellowship and uh, I succeeded in 2010 and um, I have to fulfill the leadership and the gender training and uh, planning yourself, having a roadmap for the next five, ten years. And because of that, I started to have assertiveness, I started to have self-awareness practice to know myself. And I started to align my activities with experts and I raised my interest also to work on the issue of gender, to be a multitasker. I accepted the, the invitation by the leaders at Makala University to establish the Institute of Gender and Environment at Makala University. So I was engaged as a director of Institute of Gender and Environmental Sciences from, uh, from 2011. After I get the training in 2010, immediately it was part of my, uh, my leadership skill. And then I said I need to be a professor in short period. That's why I become the first and right now the only Ethiopian female plant breeder in Ethiopia. And then after, I said, why not to be uh, the deputy vice chancellor in Makale University? So it's two years since I become a deputy vice chancellor, and uh, we are uh, focusing on female. Not only have their scientific and leadership skills been enhanced, splendid partnerships critical for sustainability have been fostered among them. I am the acting zonal director 
of the Nigerian Institute for Trypanosomiasis Research North Central Zone, VOM, which covers six states in Nigeria. In this laboratory, my work is linked up with this research on DNA vaccine. I am working on DNA vaccine against African trypanosomiasis in collaboration with the Center for Biomolecular Interaction, University of Bremen, Germany, and the African Center of Excellence for Neglected Tropical Diseases and Forensic Biotechnology. We have produced some DNA vaccines and have tested them primarily in laboratory animal models and some level of protection has been recorded and this shows that there is need to improve these vaccines. Trypanosomiasis occur in the rural areas where the farmers are very poor. And I have seen how these livestock farmers become helpless in the presence of sese and trypanosomiasis. They are losing their animals. Apart from death, trypanosomiasis causes low milk yield and abortion in animals. So this drove me into the DNA vaccine project. I went to a laboratory at the University of Bremen, Germany. That was where this DNA vaccine was constructed. Three different versions of the vaccine were constructed. Award equips its fellows and researchers from its partner institutions with the skills to facilitate interactions and partnerships with farming communities. We need to pay attention to the ways that gender responsive research gets off the shelves and into the hands of value chain actors, from lab to farm to market. If Africa is to realize inclusive, agriculture-driven prosperity, the gap between agricultural research, farming communities and agribusinesses must be bridged. Connecting these key players will not only maximize adoption and commercialize agricultural innovations, but will also build sustainable agricultural value chains for the continent. I'm a researcher working with the Zanzibar Seaweed Cluster Initiative. I am a 2014 award fellow. My work is mainly to do research in seaweed farming and value addition. So my other area is on the, on the farming itself to develop technologies that the farmers can use to farm this seaweed. And uh, we have two types of seaweed. One is called cottony and its price is higher than the other one called spinosa. But because of changes in the environment, the higher value seaweed is not growing anymore. So I am working to develop technologies that the farmers can use to produce this higher value seaweed. So they produce the higher value seaweed and then they add value to the lower value seaweed. So I have developed a, a, a recent technology called the tubular nets where the farmers use uh, tube nets made locally in Tanzania. And actually I initiated it to make this locally, uh, uh, local tubular nets. The farmers can use these nets to plant the higher value seaweed in deeper waters, we are talking about two to six meters, so they can produce a higher value seaweed. When you are part of this size, in Tanzania, we do not flower. When you are part, we do not have part. For example, we have a kawaida, we do not plant a kwakamba. We keep talk, we do not talk. Namaji. So, sir, do not flower. We do not plant. We are preparing to plant. We are preparing to plant. Nyavu, how doggy. Nabidi una upata zaidi kulikoni wakamba za kawaii. Award is implementing a holistic approach by investing in African scientists, research institutions, and agribusinesses to deliver innovative, sustainable, gender responsive agricultural research and innovation. After attending the Women Leadership Training and Award, I actually became uh, assertive how to go out, how to reach the people, how to network and how to look for partnerships 
to do research together and to, uh, to do development in my, in my work. So this has given me even more funding for my research. For example, getting funding from uh, Western Indian Ocean Marine Science. This has given me real courage to do that. We serve as a career accelerator for Africa's highest uh, potential and most promising agricultural scientists. Over the last two years, our award has put dedicated effort into expanding our programming, our fellowships into Francophone Africa, and in light of our truly pan-African vision of African prosperity that's driven by the agriculture sector.